Hi, I'm Paris, and though my hair doesn't look it now, I have actually reviewed the Just For Men Control GX hair dye that you shampoo it in and it slowly gets a little bit darker till it's just the color that you like. That was a good product, but I decided to go natural color. Now, a lot of people ask me in the comments on those videos, can I use the same shampoo that I'm using on my hair on my beard? Well, the instructions said not to. The skin on your face is more sensitive than the skin on the top of your head, and the beard hair is coarser so that makes a difference in the formulation apparently. Well finally Just For Men came out with Control GX Beard Wash. This works pretty much the same way Control GX for your hair works. You put it in when you're in the shower shampooing, you leave it on for a minute or two and over the course of some days, maybe a couple weeks, it will actually make the hair darker. Now from the pictures on the back of the box I'm not seeing it makes it a lot darker, but I'll find out. One thing I liked about the Control GX for the hair is it always left a little bit of gray. It didn't give you that artificially jet black coloration to your hair. Because when your face has 50 plus years of wear and tear on it, personally where I'm at right now, I'm willing to take what nature gives me and age gracefully, but I certainly understand people who are out looking for a new job, maybe for the first time in a couple decades looking for a new relationship, want a little bit of a leg up till the people get to know you and love you. So if that's the case, you can get a tube of Control GX Beard Wash for about $8. I'll link to it down below this video. And with the shampoo, one tube was about a month's worth. So I'm guessing this will be about a month's worth. Now I have been letting my beard grow out a little, little longer than I usually keep it. So I'll have more material to work with. The other thing is I'm not planning to dye my hair. So this may end up looking kind of strange. This is a tube. This is, looks exactly like the tube the shampoo came in. And I'm guessing they wouldn't mind if you had this tube in your shower right next to your tube of Control GX for hair. And the multi-language instruction page has this part for usage instructions and FAQs, and this part for the allergy test and safety warnings. And I already know someone's going to ask, well, since I have this, can I just go ahead and use it on my beard and my hair to dye them both? It says in the instructions, no, don't do that. It's specially formulated for the coarser hair of your beard. They also say don't use it on any other body hair. It's only designed for the hair on your face. And they strongly emphasize, even though you're putting it on your face, do not use it to dye eyelashes or the eyebrows or get it anywhere near your eyes. Here's what a little of it looks like. You notice I didn't put it on my hand because this does have a tendency to stain the skin of the fingers and the fingernails a little. And the amount you saw that I put on that strip of paper, that's the amount I would use of the shampoo usually. They do recommend you put it here in the center of your hand and work it in this way because again, it will stain the fingernails. I'll conduct the skin allergy test and assuming that goes well, the next you'll see me is in the shower trying it out. All right, in the shower, got my hair wet, got my beard wet. Let's give this a go. Seems like a reasonable amount. I'm not using the fingertips. A little bit of chemical smell <laughs> coming up in my eyes. Don't want it near the eyes. I gotta use a little fingertip. Okay, I remember with the hair dye, I was supposed to wait about one minute and then rinse it out. This is two or three minutes, or if you want it to take effect even faster, you can leave it in for up to five minutes. Okay, I decided to wait just three minutes. I figure that's what most people will do without going into overtime. I'm gonna rinse it off now. We'll see how it looks like on day one. And ta-da! Maybe a little difference? You really shouldn't see much difference on day one or it's not doing it as subtly as they claim. So now that I've dried off, let's take a close-up look at the beard. Again, I don't see any real noticeable change after just one day, but that's what I would expect with this system of hair coloring. Well, this is day two of using Control GX for beards. Decided I'll wear, try to wear the same shirt in each of these video clips so you have the same contrast. Let me show you up close. Do you see any difference in the color? 
I actually do. It's only day two, but I'm already seeing an overall slight darkening with the shampoo version of Control GX. It took about four days before I saw any difference, but day two, I am already seeing some darkening. What do you think? Day three of using the beard wash. Do you see the color coming in yet? Have a close up look. I'm definitely seeing more silver and a darker gray tinge to the whole beard. And it's day four. Do you even recognize me anymore? Took a couple days, but I finally got a pattern that works for me in the shower. I use my regular shampoo first, then wash my face, then apply the beard wash. While that's on the beard, wash the rest of the body, then rinse the beard wash, the rest of the body. Works real well. This is, I think, day five of the process, and the color right now is not the most attractive. To me, it looks kind of dirty. I think it's in the process of going from gray to brown. Day six, and I know I'm not wearing the right color shirt, forgot to put the other one on, but I think you can get a pretty good sense of how dark my beard is getting. I'd have to say it's still in that dirty phase that I don't think it looks the greatest. The color is somewhere between gray and brown, and that's not the only thing changing color. My fingernails are also taking on a darker tinge, and this happened with the uh, regular Control GX shampoo as well after about a week. And it's because I use my fingertips to massage in the shampoo. It just doesn't feel like I'm getting it in the right place when I try to just use the palms of my hands. And since fingernails are made of the same material as hair, this is what happens. And it's day seven, one week since I started using the Just For Men Control GX beard wash. And here's how far we've come. To me, it's still in that kind of dirty phase between gray and brown, but the brown color is definitely showing up more now. My initial plan was to do this for a week and then probably just shave my beard off and go back to having the natural color, but I'm curious now to know whether it'll go past this sort of dirty look that I don't really care for and it doesn't look so natural to me and go into an actual brown coloration that would be nice. Now, nice under ordinary circumstances doesn't quite match the color difference from here to here is getting larger now. So I'm not sure in another week or two if I'm still gonna be able to go out in public. But if I can tough it out, I'll come here daily and do these updates on how the hair color is going. And in two weeks, maybe a month's time, I'll post a final update to show the full potential of the Control GX Beard Wash. And I'll see you on that follow-up review.